Predator for the Super Nintendo is a pretty big letdown. And that's too bad because when it came out in the 90s, geeks everywhere wanted to see the two kick each other's buttocks. I mean, who wouldn't want to see an alien fighting a Predator? Well, you could if you went to the arcade. If you were tricked into buying the Super Nintendo game with the same title, I'm with you, brother. That sucks. This could have been one of the best beat-em-ups of all time. Instead, you're stuck with some of the stupidest AI ever. I mean, look at this. I'm just standing on one side of the screen shooting my laser at the other side, and look what happens. That's not very smart at all. I, I, I don't know. Games aren't supposed to feel like a chore to get through, and this one does. Nothing like the arcade where I would gladly pump my quarters into it. Now, while the gameplay may not be the best, or even good, it does tell a pretty damn good story with some very well-done cutscenes. For the Super Nintendo, anyways. Now, if you like the Predator movies, then you'll be pleasantly surprised that some of the weapons and powers are actually in the game, like his invisibility and the spear. But I don't remember the rocket launcher on his back that rains down columns of alien lightning from the heavens that can destroy everything on the screen. Activision duked me out of 50 bucks when I got this game, and my only saving grace is to think that that money helped them grow into the multi-billion dollar company that they are today. Whew. Thank God. 